separated your deep ball from everybody else? My deep ball, it has a little secret sauce to it, man. <laughs> I never get too high, never get too low, but just keep moving. You know, the whole story is Carlos never beat me in any kind of sports in, in, in high school. So getting into it, obviously you said you cover all 32 teams. Where do you think the Bengals kind of stand financially just in terms of where they're at with the salary cap? Yeah, so the Bengals were interesting um, because for the longest time, and I know this is probably not news to listeners, but they were kind of known as as a cheap organization or, you know, a team that didn't want to spend a ton of money. But um, I I think, you know, the addition of Joe Burrow has kind of changed that a bit and they realize they need to take advantage of this window um, when they have, you know, a good player, a good quarterback on a rookie contract. Um, But because they were cheap for so long, they had all this cap space to work with. Um, You know, they didn't have a lot of bad contracts on the roster. And so they're in a good spot. Um, I put out a, an article last week about kind of ranking all 32 teams and their cap health, and uh, they were in the top 10. They, they were ninth overall. Um, they have a lot of good rookie uh, rookie contract players. Um, they don't they don't have a ton of huge deals. They give out you know some big deals like Trey Hendrickson, you know Trey Waynes, etc. Um, but nothing nothing crazy, nothing that's gonna you know break the bank. And and you briefly talked about the rookies um, just now, like and now I did go take a look at over the cap too, and it says currently right now that the Bengals currently have 17 mil um, in cap space. I don't know if that's accurate today, July 1st. I looked at that like probably last week, but in regards to like the rookie contracts, does that include that currently right now, or is that like you know like is that pending, or what's the deal with the rookie uh, contracts in regards to the current cap? Uh, cap? Yeah, so that's accurate, and uh, I know Jamar Chase's deal is done. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's deal is done, but those rookie deals, you know, kind of as we talk about, um, they don't they don't take up a ton of cap. That's kind of the value. Um, but Jamar Chase's deal is done. That one obviously takes up about five six mil on this year's salary cap. Um, but you know, Jackson Carmen, I think they might still be working that one out. But um, you know, do- doesn't take up a ton of money, uh, and they're they're in a great spot. I mean, when you have you know a, a number one wide receiver and a quarterback on a rookie deal, you can you can spend a lot elsewhere. 